Now in this video, I'm going to do a taste testing of a wine that I made 12 months prior. It's a banana strawberry wine. We're going to make this a very short taste testing. I'm either going to like it or I'm not. As simple as that. Now a few quick things before I begin. One, uh, mm -hmm. As a result of the banana wine tasting that uh, I and Nono did uh, some time ago with a 12 month tasting of banana wine, it turned out that the banana wine wasn't quite done at 12 months. So we had scheduled another uh, tasting of that at the 16 month mark, which is coming up pretty quick. So I have my doubts about whether or not the banana portion of this wine is actually going to be done or not. But we're going to go ahead and give it a shot. Let's see, a couple of things. One, born, two, or rather February 2021. Uh, ABB ended up at 12.08% and it's been pasteurized. Now, <clears throat> the last time I had a chance to taste this was at the bottling, and that was several months ago. And usually when I do my tastings, it's in the process of doing the bag sweetening. And when I do bag sweetening, I usually use three ounce Dixie cups. And out of the three ounce Dixie cup, I usually use about a quarter or an eighth of an ounce down at the bottom to do the actual tasting to see if it's sweet enough. And then beyond that, it's bottle aging until it's ready to be done. So with that having been said, let's get right to it. Let's move this out the way. It's one of my good wine glasses, not my everyday stuff. So I don't want any accidents to happen. Let's see if I can get the cork out all in one go this time. I got my doubts. Let's see. Hey, I've done it. All right. Be glad these are the last of those corks. All right. That having been said, uh, yes, the wine is mostly clear. Uh, during that last little bit of shaking, apparently there are a few particles of sediment that are apparently kicked up that I didn't see initially at the bottom, but beyond that, it's clear. Uh, I can't really tell much by that. Let's pour a small glass in case I don't like it. <laughs> All right. Mm. On the nose, it smells sweet. You do get the banana. <laughs> banana. Yeah. You do get the banana, and you are getting a bit of the strawberry. And only at the very, very faint end, and you gotta like give a good inhale to catch the alcohol at the back end. So at 12.08%, uh, not too concerned about the alcohol being a major factor. Hmm. But on the nose, it smells good. But the nose isn't drinking it. Let's see what the mouth and the tongue have to say about this. Hmm. That's actually kind of pleasant. I can see right now, I will have to make a slight adjustment in the original recipe on the original video, which you can find in the description section of the video, where I have the list of the ingredients. I probably will tone down the acidity a bit. Uh, whatever I had specified, whether it was a half a lemon or a quarter of a lemon, I'm gonna cut that in half. And that should be just about right for this wine in terms of acidity. The strawberry gives it, at the back, just a very light tang. 
apart from the acidity of the uh, lemon juice that was added, I think the strawberries alone imparted enough, I don't want to call it simulated acidity, but basically uh, that slight tartness that you get with eating strawberries, that actually comes through quite well. Could use just a tiny little bit more back sweetening. But because this is going to be a very short video, uh, I would probably say, well, I'm going to say this before I say that. Uh, this was one of those videos that I figured, okay, let me just get this one out the way. <laughs> okay, so I can free up five extra wine bottles, which I really don't need right now. But still, but having said that, uh, this is actually not bad. <laughs> this is actually not bad at all. Yeah, uh, it, again, a little bit more back sweetening and a little bit more time. Uh, I think this is pretty much falling in line with that banana uh, uh, wine that we made. I think banana requires just addi that additional time at 16 months, which is the next time I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try one of these. I think this one will be quite ready. Uh, it's ready now. Uh, it is, what, going on 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, my time. Uh, yeah, this will be finished by tonight. <laughs> uh, don't think I'll be pouring this one down the drain at all. So, yeah, what turned out to be just kind of like, uh, uh, I won't call it a gimmick because I do have some gimmick wines out there. That cranberry sauce wine, that applesauce wine, <laughs> uh, that almond wine, which is actually being in the clear up. Um, those were done pretty much as gimmicks just to see what happens if we do it. But uh, no, that being the case, uh, this was one of those ones that I didn't have much much faith in, but I thought I'd give it a shot. Yeah, actually ended up pre uh, pretty well. So again, uh, very short video. If you like what you see here, please click on the subscribe and notify buttons. Uh, becoming a member helps. Becoming a Patreon helps. Also, there's plenty of merch available in the merchandise shelf below. So again, I'll see you in the next video.